How do we write one vector as a linear combination of other vectors? We'll see the general process by going over an example with a two-dimensional vector and a three-dimensional vector. Recall that we say the vector x is a linear combination of the vectors v1 through vn if we can express x as a sum of coefficients multiplied by those vectors v1 through vn. In this way, we combine the vectors v1 through vn to produce this other vector x, and x is called a linear combination of those other vectors. In this first example, we'll see if the vector 1, 1 is a linear combination of 1, 2 and negative 2, 4. Using the definition, we'll quickly see how to do this. Now, let's say we call the vector 1, 1 v. If it's the case that this is a linear combination of these two vectors, then certainly we can write that the vector v, which is 1, 1, is equal to some coefficient times 1, 2, plus some other coefficient times negative 2, 4. Performing the scalar multiplication on the right and performing the vector addition, the first component of this sum on the right is 1a minus 2b, which we see there. And the second component is 2a plus 4b, which we see there. So it must be the case that the vector 1, 1 equals this vector here. Thus, equating components, we get a system of linear equations. We have that 1 must equal a minus 2b, and that 1 must equal 2a plus 4b. If this system is consistent, that is, there exist values for a and b that make these equations true, then yes, the vector v is a linear combination of these other two. Now, we can represent this system of equations with the augmented matrix. Here's the coefficients of a, the coefficients of b, and the constants on the right side. Then we can perform Gauss elimination. This is quick and easy. We can just subtract two copies of row 1 from row 2 to introduce a 0 below that leading 1. And that gets us here. At this point, we can quickly solve for b and then use that to solve for a. We see from this matrix that 8b equals negative 1. So b equals negative 1 over 8. Thus, since from the first row we have that a equals 1 plus 2b, it must be the case that a equals 1 minus a fourth, which is equal to 3 fourths. So we have values for a and b satisfying the system. So we see that v is a linear combination of the other vectors, and we know exactly how to express it as such. v must equal... 3 fourths, that was the value for a, times the first vector, 3 fourths times that first vector, and then minus 1 eighth, because b is equal to negative 1 eighth, minus 1 eighth times the second vector, and thus we've expressed v as a linear combination of the other two vectors. Let's take a quick look at this geometrically. Here are the three vectors we started with. That's the vector v, 1, 1. This is the vector 1, 2, and this here is the vector negative 2, 4. And we've just seen that by multiplying these two vectors by the correct scalar and adding them together, we are able to get this vector v, the vector 1, 1. And this picture kind of shows how we do that. We take 3 fourths of the vector 1, 2, so 3 fourths of that, and then we add to it negative 1 eighth times this vector, negative 2, 4. Multiplying it by negative 1 eighth, of course, has the effect of reversing its direction, and of course, it's much smaller because it's 1 eighth. And you can see that here. We go this direction just a little bit, and once we add those two scalar multiples of the two vectors, we have produced the original vector v, and so we've expressed v as a linear combination. Before we do the example with vectors in R3, let's make sure we understand what this process came down to. We're trying to express v as a linear combination of these two vectors. So we ended up performing Gaussian elimination on this matrix, where our columns are the components of those given vectors, and it's augmented with v's components on the right side. We, of course, could perform Gaussian elimination or Gauss-Jordan elimination, whatever you like. So now we can do this example very quickly. Suppose we're trying to write the vector v as a linear combination of the three vectors u1, u2, and u3. Here's the vector v, 
and we're trying to write it as a linear combination of these three vectors. What do we do? Well, we construct an augmented matrix. The columns are the components of U1, U2, and U3, augmented with the components of the vector V, which is what we're trying to express as a linear combination of the other three vectors. We can then get this into reduced row echelon form by performing Gauss-Jordan elimination. You can verify that we'll arrive at this matrix. This matrix tells us exactly how we will express V as a linear combination of the other vectors. How much of U1 do we need? We need negative 7 6 times U1. How much of U2 do we need? We need 5 halves times U2. And we need 5 sixths times U3. Multiply those, add them together, you're going to get the vector V. And there that is. V equals negative 7 sixths times U1 plus 5 halves times U2 plus 5 sixths times U3. If the system of equations underlying this process, you know, this system in the first example, if that wasn't consistent, and so it's not possible to write the vector V as a linear combination of the given vectors, then performing Gauss-Jordan elimination would not produce a solution. We would end up with something like this, suggesting that 0 must equal 5, 6. Clearly, no solution. This method could easily be adapted for vectors in R4. You just have a 4x4 four four matrix instead of a 3x3 three three one. That's how you write a vector as a linear combination of others in Rn, if it's possible. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my linear algebra course and linear algebra exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Uh, uh, I'm the mathematical menace, the machinations of mankind, two calculators at the same time, hand signs and abacus, finger count and calculus. I'm the V to the T, my parameter, the rapidest. Happens like this, my lectures, the most prominent, dominant. Call me the Morgan, I get the confidence. The union in together like any time that we intersect Cause my opponents know they need